Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can use the OPC UA on the Modicon M251 or the M241. So let's go to the software. So in this project I already added the M251 in my project. So the first thing that we need to do is to configure the Ethernet port of the M251 or the M241. So in my case, I'm going to use the Ethernet port 1 with this configuration over here. Okay, so I will be able to ping the device and have the physical connection just to make sure that I have the physical connection with the device. So after you make the configuration of the Ethernet port, if you go to Tools 3, you just need to right click over here, add object, and then add the OPC UA symbol configuration. But before doing that, what I'm going to do is to create a new GBL in my program. An object. I'm going to use GBL OPC. Okay. So I'm going to add this one. And here I'm going to add a few elements. So, for example, I'm going to use a temperature room just to give something real. Um, our humidity room real and then let's see um, alarm okay and this one's going to be boolean so now that I have created a GBL that is the one that you're going to use on the OPC UA what I need to do is to um call this variables on the NBL. So I'm going to create like a small logic. If the GBL OPC UA dot uh, room temperature is higher than um, 22, 3, then the GBL OPC UA dot alarm it's going to be in true else the same variable that I have over here it's going to be in false okay just to do something okay so the idea on the OPC UA on the modicon M251 or M241 is to act as a server so Basically, it's like uh, if you compare that with the Molva serial, it could be like a slave. So you have the PLC over there with all the information that you want. And then externally, someone is going to access to this data. So that is what, what we're going to try right now. So I have created the GBL and used the variables in a PUU. Now, we need to define these variables to be accessible externally. So in order to do that, we need to create like a specific object for this. If we go right click into the tools tree, oops, tools tree. If you're not able to see tools tree, you can go to view navigator uh, tools tree. Right click over here, add object, and then here you have this option OPC UA symbol configuration. You cannot change the name, so leave it as it and add. And here you should be able to see all the GBLs that you have in your project for this particular PLC. And then what you need to do is to select the variables that you want to share. Okay. You also have the possibility to define if you want the variables to be read write, read only. As you can see here, this one is only readable externally. This one write only. And this one is with the two read write. So let me just put like this and I use the magnifier so I can show you that. Probably it's a little bit small. <laughs> so as you can see over here, this tree, this one, you have like the variable, okay, that square box with an arrow coming out. So that means that you're going to show the variable only. So it's going to be read only. The second one, this one, 
it's like an arrow coming in so that means that you are allowed someone to write new values to that variable and this one is read write you have the the two um, directions so i'm going to close this part i'm going to put that two okay read write read write and if you put the most read right so i have this part already configured now we have defined the Ethernet communication. We have defined the value that we want to share, but there's something else that we need to configure. If we go to the device tree and select the PLC, there is a particular part for the OPC UA server configuration. Okay. In this part, what I'm going to do is only to show you the, uh, the anonymous. So there is no security yet. Okay. So this part, I'm not going to disable the anonymous. I want to enter and that's it here this is a configuration of the server but you will need to pay attention to this one the server port because this server port is the one that we need to um, use on the client device in order to access to this server okay so as soon as you configure this it should be ready so now that I have the communication with the PLC, okay, let me just show you that I should be able to ping the device. Ping is in the other screen. One and two, once you say dot one dot two by one, okay, and able to communicate with the controller, it's fine. So I'm going to connect and download the information just to show you. So this is only for the PLC. What I'm going to show you later right now after download is that there is a tool it's not a schneider tool but a third party tool that allows you to to install a software in your computer so you can be the client of any server on opc ua so you can easily see if what you are doing is, is correct so let's open the opc over here and now let's open this this uh, UA expert okay which is the software that I mentioned so in order to test this and see if it's working what we can do is to go over here to other server to be able to see this so in my case I'm going to other server manually this is the address okay that it start with the OPC here we need to use the IP address of the PLC so one and then what we need to add is the port for the OPC. As I mentioned before, is 4840. If I'm wrong, let's check. Let's double check. 4840, that is the port. So if we open this again, okay. So you're able to see here the connection. Okay, it's fine. So as you can see, it's anonymous. And I'm going to use this. So we have already added this server. Now we can connect to this server using this software. So here, using this one, connect to the server. And you can see the data. So this is all the information that we have. And over here, you can see M241, M25, M241, or M251 data because it's going to be the same the process. It's going to chain on different PLCs, but this is what we got for these two. So we just drag and drop the information that we have. As you can see, it starts with GBL underscore OPC UA, which is a GBL, how we define. Drag and drop, and you can see over here the variables. So in order to change this and check this out, let's open uh, to vertical like that. Oh, this one is not the main. Okay. And vertical. So I can show you that the information is going to be changed. So open this again. Here you can see the display name, community room. So let's say 56. As you can see how it changed automatically. Okay. And then the temperature, I'm going to specify 20 degrees, 20.2. You can see how it changed on the software, on the real PLC. And then if I use, for example, um, 36. 
type six, you should be able to see how it changed and also changed in the logic. So we are sending, so we are receiving information on the PLC. I write the information to the PLC. So this is how you can check that the OPC on your site is working fine. So this is it for the OPC UA server on the M251 or M241. The process is the same without using any securities at all. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.